Our school was a pioneer school for Strand One project and we were involved in the engagement and enrichment process. Um, so we did lots of work on the offer that we give to our pupils, the opportunities. We looked at what we already provide in school and how we could adapt our resources and give the pupils different opportunities, how we could use them in a different way. We've had representatives from so many different fields, primary education, secondary education, um, qualification Wales, colleagues in special needs settings, um, ESTIN. So everybody's had an input, so we've been able to gather everybody's views and ideas. There's been a huge amount of research, international reading, looking at curriculum designs in other countries and how that could influence our design. The Maths AOLE has been really interested in the work of Singapore Maths and looking at mastery and the teaching of maths and developing pupil skills and we've had several opportunities where people have come in and shown us how Singapore Maths is working in their own settings. We had a head teacher from a local school came in and showed us how they've implemented it and showed us evidence, the impact on raising of standards and we've also had the maths lead from the Boolean Hub in England came and gave us a very interesting presentation again showing how the maths hubs in England have developed Singapore Maths. We've looked very much at the nature of maths and the skills that maths and numeracy can bring to children in their learning learning for lifelong experiences and as a vehicle for developing their confidence and their skills. The most productive part of the process so far has been working with so many different people from different areas. The fact that we do have representation from so many stakeholders, we get the opportunity to explore each other's views. Um, things that work in primary school don't seem to work so well in secondary and, and of course special needs schools, when we think something's going to work they look at it from a different viewpoint and it's very um, interesting to be able to take in those different views and to make our new curriculum inclusive. In Strand 3 we've obviously got to look at the curriculum content which is going to be a huge piece of work to undertake. We've got to look at how the curriculum is going to be structured and whilst we think the maths is probably quite distinct to other subject areas there's got to be commonality between all the areas of learning. We've also got to look at the assessment and progression through the um, curriculum and there's got to be some regard to how we can make all our assessment purposeful. At the moment teachers are so accountable, they've got such a heavy workload. We need to make sure that we are assessing what needs to be assessed um, and that we're not being held accountable all the time that we can actually use our professional judgement.